Hey guys, this is Neon for Clownfish TV, and I'm doing a quick update on Thundercats Roar, the beloved uh, reboot of the classic Thundercat. Oh, never mind. Well, shit, this is disappointing. Uh, Thundercats Roar, the uh, teaser trailer, uh, was apparently. Uh, it's unlisted on uh, uh, YouTube. Now, whether or not it was uh, public before and they, they went private with it, I'm not sure. But there are over 5,000 uh, downvotes uh, as of the recording of this video for Thundercats Roar. It is not being received well at all by the fandom. But what do you expect when you take one of the best action cartoons of all time and reduce it to uh, a goofy, cutie, cutesy little lion uh, welding a magic slicing stick? <laughs> you know, it's just not going well. And of course, the usual suspects have to chime in on the pop culture wars. Uh, this is coming from the Daily Dot. Why grown adults are mad about the new Thundercats. Uh, Gavia Baker Whitelaw, not familiar with her, but I don't read the Daily Dot, so whatever. The backlash against Thundercats roar is almost refreshing. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, and we get here, though. <laughs> this kind of makes me mad. Unlike the sexist Ghostbusters backlash and the sexist and racist Star Wars boycotts, this is a mostly apolitical story about grown adults being painfully resistant to change. People are mad because the new Thundercats reboot looks new, instead of resembling the cartoon they watched in the 1980s. Uh, no, I think people are more angry because you're you're not just changing it, but you're sort of insulting the fans along the way, and that's that's really kind of the biggest uh, biggest kick in the teeth. And the thing is, is that they they actually did reboot Thundercats. They rebooted it as an anime. Yes, the anime was canceled, uh, but my understanding is the anime was canceled because it really wasn't given proper attention by Cartoon Network, and it probably came down to finances. It was a very expensive show to produce. This kind of looks cheap. Um, basically, the, uh, you know, just kind of, it's a backhand slap to the show. They, they you know, I understand she was not uh, around when the show was on the air. Um, but, I mean, when you make digs like this, like, visually, it looked like the cast <laughs> of the musical Cats reimagined as professional wrestlers alongside animated shows like Transformers Masters of the Universe as a nostalgic favorite. Yeah, the trailer and poster led to a roar of disapproval from certain corners of animation fandom. Actually, I would say the vast majority. The main complaints focused on the visual style, which people compared to a parody of contemporary animation trends and described it as too childish. In turn... This all ties into an ongoing criticism of something called cow art style. Uh, we talked about this before. Basically, a lot of the uh, the popular cartoons on um, uh, Cartoon Network right now, most of the people who work on those cartoons are uh, from cow arts, with the exception of Steven Universe. I believe Rebecca Sugar was from uh, New York, uh, and I, I forget which school exactly, but uh, you know, it's still kind of the similar similar style. There's nothing intrinsically wrong with the so-called cow art style. In fact, plenty of defining examples are critically acclaimed and enjoyed by both children and adults. Um, I actually would, I actually would agree with that. I think that, I mean, personally, I don't mind the cow art style. I think it works for sh some shows. Like I said, I do enjoy uh, Steven Universe uh, quite a bit for what it is. I like uh, Star. I do like, um, you know, Gumball. I mean, that th that style doesn't bother me at all. It's when they take that style and apply it to a show that was like a complete 180 from it, and then sort of, you know, <laughs> slap down the fans who are unhappy about it. Um, they said, a hatred of cow art style often goes hand in hand with a hatred of Tumblr culture, which overlaps with progressive uh, politics. Yeah, but Tumblr, the reason that people are against Tumblr has nothing to do with the art style. It's, it's uh, the people on Tumblr uh, saying dumb things. That's why people don't like Tumblr. And a lot of them just happen to draw, and a lot of them draw in a very similar style. So it's not that hating that art style um, makes you hate Tumblr, makes you hate Cal Arts, uh, the Cal Art style. It's just that, that the people on Tumblr say some really, really dumb, dumb things. Like most parts of the internet, I would just say Tumblr probably is a, a dumber uh, part of the internet, which is probably why Tumblr is uh, on the decline because people have just had enough of Tumblr. Um, now, here are the defenses. Eight-year-olds don't have the same taste as animation fans in their 30s, and Cartoon Network knows its target audience. Secondly, maybe the original Thundercats wasn't as good as you remember. Um, you know, yes and no. A lot of 80s cartoons didn't age well, but for, for the time, uh, Thundercats was an incredibly expensive show. Thundercats was uh, 
produced in Japan um, with uh, staffers from Top Craft. Now, if you know uh, something about uh, you know Studio Ghibli, uh, Top Craft. Uh, sort of split, and the uh, the group that did Thundercats was a different group, but um, many of the, the folks from Top Craft went on to uh, form Studio Ghibli, which produced some of the best animation uh, ever put to screen, the best 2D animation ever put to screen. So, you know, I, I can't even imagine what Thundercats uh, would cost in today's dollars. It, it was a very expensive show. Yeah, the writing was kind of cheesy, um, but for what it was, I mean, of all those shows, even Transformers and G.I. Joe, and Masters of the Universe especially, Thundercats was definitely uh, the most expensive. Uh, it definitely was most expensive. And, and so was, you know, Silverhawks, which was kind of a um, uh, similar spinoff, which came later. Never quite got as big as Thundercats, but I, I love Silverhawks. Um, and the animation was janky, but yeah, it was, for its time, it was really good. Um, now, here's how they end it. And again, this is kind of like they kind of kind of uh, 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 sympathize, but then there's a backhand slap in there, of course. In some instances, we sympathize when fans get frustrated about a reboot or remake that doesn't respect the legacy of the original. But if you're getting mad online about the artistic integrity of Thundercats, a straightforwardly silly cartoon about cats fighting a mummy, then it's probably time to chill. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I think, though, it's just this pattern of... Um, folks uh co-opting um almost in a parasitic style like taking an established ip and and injecting it with um today's sensibilities or with uh, politics or whatever and turning it into something that's not similar enough to the original to to warrant even taking uh that ip in the first place if you know what i mean like if you're going to to piss off the fans of an established ip why bother taking established IP, why don't you just start, why don't you just create something new? Like, again, I don't have a problem with uh, Steven Universe. I don't have a problem with Star. Many of the cartoons are on today. I watch, I admit it. I, I watch a lot of animation. Uh, I love a lot of the shows that are on today. I think Gravity Falls is one of the coolest uh, shows uh, ever. And uh, it's, again, it's an entirely unique show, but I don't, I don't agree with taking existing uh, properties and just, you know, erasing what people loved about them, uh, just because again, I don't understand the, the purpose behind it. I think, you know, cause this is sort of the opposite of good marketing, right? Like you want intellectual property, uh, that's established because you want those original fans to come back and give you money, but then you piss all over the franchise and you piss all over the fans. <laughs> so I don't understand. I do agree. The show is, is made for younger kids. Uh, absolutely, but um, they could have easily, it didn't have to be Thundercats, they could have had uh, an action show with like a barbarian character or something, and it would have been totally fine, it would have been the same thing um, you know because at this point you've basically just uh, burned bridges with the Thundercat fandom uh, anyway, and those those people are not going to support the show, so if you just started something new from scratch I mean, Thundercats doesn't mean anything to eight-year-olds anyway, so just, you know, start over. I don't understand why uh, you take an existing IP and then deliberately troll the fans. And really, what gets me the most about this article, um, this whole thing makes me mad, too. Uh, and I gotta tell you, and this is somebody who's trying to be balanced about all this, trying to be, you know, a uh, good guy and be like, yeah, you know, I can see both sides. Um, but the thing about the Ghostbusters backlash you know, from, from what I understand, there were some people who were legitimately sexist and like, why does it have to be all women? Um, but a lot of people were just like, why do we have to reboot Ghostbusters? Like, Ghostbusters is such a classic. Why do we have to reboot this? Uh, and then the um, actions of the people involved with the film, the uh, the fact that they were tarring and, and feathering all of the, uh, you know, all of the, the, uh, the critics as, you know, uh, sexist, uh, homophobic, uh, racist, misogynist, blah, 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 blah. You know, the, the list of Tumblrisms, uh, <laughs> you know, just because they didn't think that the idea of a Ghostbusters reboot was a good idea. Um, and, uh, you know, that just fueled the backlash. Ghostbusters wound up being a disappointment at the box office. Uh, they're probably never going to make a sequel to it. Um, personally, I, I thought it was an okay movie, but it had so much baggage attached to it. And again, not necessarily the fans uh, being disappointed in the fact that they rebooted Ghostbusters, okay, but in the fact that all I could think when I'm watching it is like, yeah, the director made these comments and this person made this comment and they like, obviously they, they hate anybody who 
isn't 100 percent on board with this movie and that sort of that's a cloud that hangs over um you know these sorts of projects and with star wars uh sexist and racist i'm not understanding where the, the racist is coming from sexist because uh you know it just seems like uh, most of the men in star wars have been thrown under the bus or killed um if that's sexist but like my wife huge star wars fan she has a bigger issue with the new star wars movies than i do i i'm sort of like i just thought i personally thought the last jedi was just uh not a very good movie and they completely uh destroyed luke skywalker like forever just because they could i'm still not understanding why they had to do that to luke um but uh you know again this is just fans getting sick of uh politics being pushed in their entertainment choices fans being sick of reboots um and then if you don't like the reboot because you completely just piss all over the original then you're uh, some sort of horrible person for that and and that's the problem i have like i said i enjoy uh you know a lot of these cal art style shows i have no problem with something new because that's that's the original that's the style i i love it when cartoon network takes a chance on new properties i wish they would do that more often because adventure time is ending and uh steven universe will probably end pretty soon but now we're basically just left with um leftovers you know uh regurgitated uh shows from the 80s and 90s that uh, have been changed so much that they don't resemble the original at all. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Subscribe to the channel for more pop culture content, gaming videos, etc. The occasional pop culture rant. Uh, again, this is something that uh, many people are ranting about right now. So uh, let me know what your feelings are on Thundercats Roar. Do you think this is all a tempest in a teapot or do you think that um, Thundercats fans are just absolutely, they, they're, they're going to strike back and, and uh, not support this show in any way, shape, or form. All right, this has been Neon for Clownfish TV. I'll talk to you later.